Hi, I'm Kai Hughes and I'm the Executive Director of the International Cotton Advisory Committee. To mark World Cotton Day, the ICAC has produced these series of videos to refute some of the many myths and misunderstandings about the cotton industry. The claim. Cotton is a very thirsty crop that requires enormous amounts of water to produce a kilogram of fibre. In our second Truth About Cotton video, we're going to address one of the most common and ridiculous myths about cotton. Of all the mistruths that people publish about cotton, this one grabs the most headlines. Years ago, the highly respected NGO, the WWF, or World Wildlife Fund, commissioned a study that concluded that cotton required a staggering 20,000 litres of water to produce just a single kilogram of fibre. That's more than 5,200 gallons. This number spread around the world like wildfire. Those who compete with cotton or who have an agenda to speak against it have kept this number alive for years and despite repeated efforts, the WWF refuses to adjust it, which is a shame. Because the amount of water that cotton really needs to produce a kilogram of fibre is only 1,214 litres, 94% less than the 20,000 litres. So how can there be such a huge discrepancy between those numbers? The answer is that the study included two different types of water. Firstly, it included green water. Green water comes from rainfall and it falls from the sky. It's either absorbed into the ground or it evaporates and it returns to the clouds. Counting this type of water against cotton production is nonsense because by this logic, parking lots also consume thousands of litres of water every time it rains. So do rooftops and athletic fields, and even the oceans themselves. So clearly green water that falls from the sky shouldn't be counted. Then there is blue water. Blue water comes from lakes or streams, and this type of water is used to irrigate crops that don't get enough water from rainfall alone. So this is the only type of water that should be counted. It accounts for water that could be used for something else, but instead has been diverted to grow cotton, as well as any other type of crop. And there's another thing. As we mentioned in the first of these videos, The Truth About the Aral Sea, cotton is a xerophyte, which means it actually thrives in places that are too dry and inhospitable for most other crops. Its roots grow stronger and deeper as it seeks water, so where water's scarce, Cotton is almost always the crop that gives the best economic return for this limited resource. To put things into perspective, here in the Northern Hemisphere where the ICAC is headquartered, you actually need more water to grow an acre of grass than you need to grow an acre of cotton. And of course, neither lawns nor golf courses provide fiber or food. With less water, cotton produces both. So, visit www icac.org and click on the global cotton promotions button to see more truths about cotton. Thanks for watching.